What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Deep Strike Nation and uh, this is a video I wanted to do for a little while and before my last game corrupted I was going to do it so I built it a little bit differently this time but this in my opinion so far from what I've seen is the biggest build on console. Not on PC and not with multiple players. This is a single player walkthrough of the beginning, I'm nowhere near done, of my walkthrough of my base so if you guys want to uh yeah yeah let, 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 let's get this shit on the road let's uh, do this so to start off with interesting fact that the square footage or square blockage blockage i don't know that sounds like something that happens in a bathroom but the square block area is a little over seventeen thousand blocks and that's just for in here. And yes, it was carved completely out of a mount, uh, side of a mountain, solo. And if anybody plays on console, you know how that can be if you're trying to remove a giant piece of land. Like, it's so wide that the other side's not even uh, rendering. It's awesome. I added the trees just to make it look not so empty. But uh, no other than that, this is my... I don't think I would call it my best build as of yet because i do come from minecraft and i spent a lot of time playing minecraft so for me having something like this is a little dumbed down i guess you could say because of the more freedom that you have in minecraft with building but uh all right so let's get it started so this is the area where i defense on hordes and as you notice there is no spikes i don't i, I tried to do everything i could to avoid using spikes on this one uh your basic uh your basic tower i guess you can say it's not done as well i want to do somehow make another level or do something along those lines but then i have my walkways to my other ones in case that place starts getting hit a little too hard so i'll be able to space out the attacks while i take them down uh same concept on this side and of course the most important part because obviously if you're not you're not always going to be able to run above ground you know if you happen to fall and you need to deal with shit well i have the underground also and the best part about having your pillars like this is because the bodies will fall down. So you can search the bodies and then their gore blocks will pop back up. So that jumps off to each side. We'll go take a quick look on this one and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So you can have the option. You can either come up, cut right over, and fight off. Or you can come up to the top and do your run around. It's completely depending on the horde night of that night, I guess you can say. And yeah, so this is the the defense of it. And if you look, zombies on Horde Knight will spawn in view, right? So what I plan on doing is previously on the Horde Knight, as you see how it's rendering back there. So on the Horde Knight, if I just come to the point where I can't, stupid cactus, if where I can't see it. So if I come to here, the zombies are either going to spawn... On the platform, which if anybody also plays this game knows they cannot spawn on the platform. So they're going to spawn up there or they're going to spawn all around here. And then once the first spawn happens, then I make my way back to the base. And this way I kind of in a way control where they're coming from. So I'll, they don't spawn on the mountaintop over there and fall down and screw with my shit until I get a roof up. So let's continue on. Uh, we'll start on this side, so you take a quick walk over, and uh, sorry if it's echo, by the way, I haven't put up my foam for the uh, sound yet, but I'm getting there, I I'm doing my best here, I'm doing my best. So here's your basic garden, like I said, it's a work in progress, so it hasn't got to that point where I have everything I need, just not, yeah, yeah, you're my boy, Blue! And uh, yeah, so that's that's the garden, and keep in mind, this is, like I said, 17,000 blocks down and dug out of a mountain which took like 28 in-game days um, and because I recently started streaming on Twitch at Deep Strike Gaming at Twitch TV I have my wall of followers so these are the lucky and awesome people who I have met and who are you know stuck around and actually shoot the shit with me on uh, Twitch, which is, well, the reason why I went on Twitch. So, yeah, if you're watching this video and your name's on there, well, 
bam, you just got. But I'd like to give a shout out to people like, uh, you know, McLeod or Sarcasm, I Am, uh, Game Pool, definitely, Troublemaker, Dunk, Slick Rex is, is quite the entertainer, quite the gambler too. Uh, Anonymous, for sure, Randy's always kicking around, um, Heidi, who most of these people, uh, Asian, most of these people who are as well Twitch streamers or just enjoy, oh, Dragon Nuts, you know, who just enjoy, you know, the, uh, the entertainment of stream. So yeah, I want to start something similar to that for YouTube, but it's a little harder to make that. It's not as interactive. All right, so we'll go downstairs first. So this is going to be the hallway in case I ever fall. I have to fall back behind enemy lines. So this is going to be the simple defense, your your basic defense. I decided to add glass just to add the extra little, the extra little feature. So, and yes, I still stick to this being one of the, the biggest build I've seen on console. Solo, without any help, without stupid duplication, without any of that shit. So, yeah, so this is the first floor. And we'll come up here. Obviously, it's like I said, it's a build in progress, so the doors aren't even up yet. Uh, so, yeah, here's the second floor. And... I have yet, as I just noticed, I have yet to make an inside access to the second, uh, to the third floor. There will be another floor on top, and I am attempting to figure out a way to build a roof without pillaring the shit out of everything, because I want to try to keep it as open as possible. And this is going to be blocked off as well with a single door in the center, so I don't have to worry about uh, too much. Hello, mini bike. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what's going on here. Is these pillars are going to go all the way up. And I'm going to try to build off as much as I can on that and support it as much as I can. I'm not sure. Stupid, stupid game with the physics and the falling and the annoying and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so now let's go check out our little bit of underground. This is behind my main wall. Not sure what I want to do here yet. Oh, shit, I forgot to show you that. Well, you can't see it from... Uh, you can still see it up from up here. I got the stairway that goes from the first floor, and that's going to be one of the accesses to my underground mines. Uh, down there, which I can't see any other way, but it's down there. It's uh, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good concept, pretty good concept. So yeah, you get my access from here, back to the wall of uh, followers. Uh, and like I said, build in progress, so I still have a lot of work to do. This leads me down to my forge room, which I can always recommend. Try not to have in your base or around your base, or you're just gonna get constantly hassled by you know, screamers, and who the hell wants that? Uh, this will be the forge room, so this is where all my forges will be, and if you take a look at the map, there's the base, just to give you a concept of what it looks like from an aerial, and this is how far I am from the base, so zombies will spawn here, screamers will stay over here, and I don't have to worry about them. I did a little uh, drop for Mr. McLeod, so uh, yeah, I don't want to get too close there you go that's all the way down to bedrock uh eventually if i start inviting players on here i'll try to convince one of them to run out and uh you know oh yeah just run down that hallway there and grab me something and hope they fall to their death um but other than that god that echo is bad i really got to get that installation up i apologize for that ladies and gentlemen it's a real pain in the fucking ass uh yeah so this is my underground again it's going to be spread out quite a bit more once i actually finish the exterior build uh my main my, not my main base but my holdover base is right here so it's it's not that bad i got my garden going on just in case you know i'm building up my inventory before it's too late uh yeah so i think that pretty much covers it if you guys know of anywhere where they in any videos that have bigger builds single player no duping builds uh Drop in your comments below, man. I'd be happy to go. Uh, happy to go take a look. And like I said, uh, this base by the time I am done will have over a hundred thousand blocks, guaranteed. Because if the if the floors are just seventeen thousand, now add in the walls and my thirty mines that I have kicking around all over the map for all these resources. You know, you'll you, you'll get what I mean. 
So yeah, if uh, you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't hit the notification thing. It, it's it's I'm not I'm not there yet. But uh, hit the subscribe button. You know, drop me a like if you uh, if you like the concept of it. Uh, follow me on Twitch too if you guys want to have a one on one chat or a group uh, a group chat there so we can uh, shoot the shit in person. I always like doing that with people. It's um, a little bit easier concept than YouTube just due to the fact that it is a gamer's platform. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut this video here, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you show a little bit of support. So you guys have yourself a good evening, good night, or good morning, and I will talk to you next video. Later.